We are live. We are live. Um, Jessica, we are live. Let me take this opportunity and greet everyone that is watching us from our Facebook page, Ipochikos Food for the Soul and the Wesley Guild SA page. My name is Ukim D. But I'm coming to you live up again. Uh, um, before we do anything, man, let us uh, have a song. Let us have a song here. So that we call everyone. Um, so that they can join us. Oh, <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Um, just to give a brief about this program, um, Ipochikos Food for the Soul, together with the Wesley Gator say, they are bringing you this series of Ten Commandments. If you can recall, you will remember that um, in a few weeks back, we had some 23 series, and now we are back again with the Ten Commandments series. And we do have guests, as you have seen in the posters that are circulating, um, we do have guests such as Umfuniso Zamani Skupela, we do have Obra Dalon Dilem Gedezi, we do have Usisnon Zugi Sogobi Zembe, we do have Obra Sisego Bodla, and we do have Obra Da Chabi Soto Let us now give them a platform to actually greet the viewers of Ipochikos and the Wesley Guild SA. Starting with Umfundisi Uzamani Skupela. Umfundisi, Masikbuli Sespam Gela uh, Kim, let me take this opportunity to greet you and your management there, as well as the Pochikos Group and Wesley Guild SA. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, Mfundisi. Um, Brother Londlem Gedezge will be joining us at a later stage. Um, he's still, you know, trying to get in. But in the meantime, let us go to Sister Nonzugiso Gobizembe. Sister Nonzugiso Masibuli Sesibam Gela Pinkuben. Molweni put Kim and Umfundisi Nabandu Bonga Bakoyo Ekamenilka Christo Molwen. Thank you so much. Um, we also do have Oprah that's the same board. Kuluwa, Madibuli Sengwamge. Brother Sisego. Very good. Um, 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 and the time I tell you to about the bullies, when I left Kabasako, the only panelist Yambanayo, the women in it, and I won't come to be soon a whole Kasayo, old Pulo, the city full of Gosti Puti, Nangalu, the Tumus Bolekelo. It was a cool. And the last one we do have over the table so much from Kulu. Now, my dear boys and girls, get up and go back. We do have um, Kulua. I think your mic is off. Yes, we have a girl, Kulua. 
Oh, eh, man, chaba chel chuba puti ndi bule se we we na eh nes kaba song ke eh na ulonga banda bas pola le ongel kaisa eh ukut kare na bandu eh eh be technology eh eh bas nje nje singa chelo nuntui me eh ngos kakul ngos kakul mkulowa um those are the people that you can expect on today's show and remember. We are having part one of the Ten Commandments series. Without wasting any time, let us open this service with prayer. Masi tandanse. Tiko we tulu ngileyo, mzali wa sekaye zuluin. Tiko we tu, onamandla makulu. Abata bazali betu, kabete tanga awe. Batu wena tiko, unga apaya, wengu buza mafu. Korangosi itele mina na msanje kaivela chikolungileyo. Sakbona wena chito. Upagati kwetu. Trini dongzwele. Sati ngosi kabesi shuguma. Kale mina na msanje. Sisenzi zindo. Chito wotolungileyo. Abanye bese zikawin. Abanye bese msebenzin. Abanye ngosi begunda wezitile. Kora chito wotu sakbona. Chito wotona mandla. Unyagaza, ushugum, pagati wait, chico wotulung leo sabono gutin kosi, au pelelanga, chico ubanga paya, wen zimbuza maf, chico wotulung leo, kotu ko na tiko, na pagati wait, chico wotulung leo, ngobawe na chico, au peleli glandao, chico wotuna mandla, ebonong mtul, chico wotu sekaye zulini, ati wenu paya, ezin kwengwezini, chico wotu, olung leo, gorangosi, ushugbon, Tito watu na mandla, klasi yambe mshabeni, tito waseka ya zulini, sigubone wena tito wetu ukona pagati kwetu, tito watu na mandla, singo nelinje, tito kubone ukona pagati kwetu, tito watu na mandla, koto no moya wako ingwele, tito wetu siuve na o tito ukona pagati kwetu, tito watu na mandla, makulu klasi kalangosi lengonzo, tito watu na mandla, siti no moya wako, tito wetu oingwele, well, Tito Watona Mantra, O Ambagu Yena, Tito Watona Mantra, Umoya Wako in Well, Ong Tutu Seli Well, Tito Namantra, Casica Lengons or Tito, Sedilo Moya Wako in Well, Maung and Pacatique, Tito Watona Mantra, Ukoneli Kuntena Pacatique, Go to sing at the Siku Bone, Tito Watona Mantra, Ogwens Wayong, Tito Watona. Sitibana <laughs> Tito watu na mandla, batiba nge kamala ako, tito watu na mandla, silapa kengo si, siso tibana nati, kelo kamala ako, tito watu na mandla, kasika lengo si, masenga tibani nge kamala ako, unge eko wena, mzengo chiko, kutu wanko si, kambala la paka chikwe tu, paka chikwa ba. Tell me, 
and Exodus chapter 20 um, verses 1 to 3. Uh, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other God before me. So I have been asked to do the introduction of the Ten Commandments and to reflect on the story of the Israelites as God gives these newly freed Hebrews a basic law called the Ten Commandments, of which mm. these Ten Commandments were given to govern their relationship with him, mm. with each other, and with the environment. But for us to understand the Ten Commandments, it is important to note that the Exodus story is the story of those who were the very bottom of the society. Effectively, mm. they were no peasants in the greatest empire of the day. And so Exodus is not an account of a king and his battles or of great alliances and wealth. It is the story of the slaves. It is the story of their suffering, their poverty and struggle. 
which later Israelites saw as the central moment and source which gave meaning and purpose to their life as people. <laughs> So Exodus is about the Hebrew people who found themselves suffering deeply from the ugliness of the empire they live in. They were making bricks for Pharaoh's banks while they had no money for themselves. They were building storehouses for food for Pharaoh's family while their own families went hungry. They were midwiving babies of the rich while their own suffered in poverty. They were catering banquets they could never afford to eat at. They mm. were cleaning palaces they would never be able to sleep in. They were dying mm. in wars, protecting luxuries they would never afford. Oh, yes. They were slaves and Pharaoh did not want them to go because he was benefiting from them because they were a cheap mm. labor. And so over, over, these Hebrew people, we are told they cried out to God and God heard their cry. God heard their grievances and saw the cruelty of their oppressors. And so mm. God led them on an exodus on a journey out of the land of the empires and slaves and into the promised land of abundance. So in a wonderful manner, God becomes involved completely in their liberation. And God oh, yes. acts openly and not secretly so that the world may know that Israel's God lives, who is the <laughs> warrior who fights for justice, on behalf of the downtrodden. Surely, oh, yes. God is not ashamed to be called their God. God is not mm. ashamed to be called the God of the oppressed. And oh, so, yes. in liberating them, God did not choose just anybody to lead them, but in the midst of imperially sanctioned genocide, when the mm. boy kids were killed, we are told that a shrewd and courageous woman placed her little boy in a basket and floated mm. him down the river. Another bold daughter found this basket and took him in. And that mm. little boy was named Moses, an <clears throat> orphan refugee who would lead God's people to the promised land, a land beyond genocides and empires. And so Moses, from the moment he was born, quivered under the shadow of an oppressive regime. It was from water that God rescued Moses, and he would rescue again when the water swallowed up the armies of Pharaoh in the coming Sorry. chapter. And so we are told that on the journey, God fought for the people, protecting them, swallowing mm. up armies and chariots. He instructed them that revenge belongs only to God. He scolded mm. people over and over for taking things into their own hands. But we're told that it wasn't long though before the Hebrew people were tempted to be like those other nations. The very people who suffered so deeply from the things kings do demanded mm. to have a king. They still didn't get that they were to be a people set apart from the other nations. And mm. apparently even being slaves of the empire was more comfortable and enticing than wandering with God in the desert, we are told. Wishful oh, yes. memories of home tempted them to turn back from their lonely desert journey and settle for Pharaoh's plantation. The taste of empire lingered in their mouths. And on weary days, their bellies cried for the empire's meat and fast food. The enticements of Egypt tempted them to settle for the imperial dream. We say, Moses may have freed their bodies, 
but Pharaoh still colonized their continent. Oh. Oh. And so it is in that context that God gives Moses the Ten Commandments and says, mm. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other God before me. It is interesting mm. that the Lord does not at this solemn moment introduces himself as creator of the universe, Lord oh, yes. of the whole world, but oh. as the liberator of Israel from the foreign oh. yoke. And it's for me, God seems to suggest that the only God worth honoring is the mm. God who frees you from bondage and yes. oppression, the God of liberation, a God mm. that isn't liberal, a God that cannot liberate his people isn't worth worshiping. Mm. And so the Ten Commandments refer us to a liberating God. And so if the Israelites found their central identity in their story of liberation, therefore they must only worship those forces they thought responsible for their freedom. Those forces that allowed them to escape tyranny, that made it possible for them to cross the Red Sea during a low tide. The forces that made them survive the hardship of life in the wilderness oh, yeah. and finally brought them to a promising new land. They must worship those forces. And so the first commandment says, don't follow anything that is mm. liberating. Have no other gods before me. Don't place anything above that which frees us, that which saves us by releasing us from constriction, from the forces that hold us back and closes us in. Follow those forces that open space for us literally and figuratively. And so as a society, this commandment means instituting legal, economic, and political practices that are open to and include everyone regardless of their individual backgrounds, beliefs, or lifestyle. And so, <clears throat> friends, the Ten Commandments were given to people who had the experience of being denied the benefits of humanity. Oh, yes. They, had, they have escaped the hell of slavery. These commandments are therefore connected to their previous life as slaves. Mm. But these commandments is God's way of liberating them totally from the hands of Pharaoh. They must remember the wrongdoings of their masters by struggling mm. against them. They must remember the brutality of their experience and the brilliance of their resistance. At the heart, of this good news is the fact that God doesn't simply come down to rescue, but he also comes with. It mm. is God's self who led this revolution. He is the divine deliverer who is also leading them on the journey in the pillar of cloud and fire. So this nation of Israel was founded upon the idea that God created human beings to be free. They have been crying mm. and searching for this freedom. And now the freedom is granted. Oh, and yes. so these 10 oh, commandments yes. were given to assist them in maintaining a happy life. Here, mm. in this place, they must grasp a new vision and sing a new song, freedom mm. of God was saying to them, now is the chance to be a better and it is an opportunity to do what is right. These commandments were an attempt to clean up the place so as to produce good lives, peace and brotherhood. God was saying mm -hmm. to them, another world is possible with equal chances and equal opportunities. 
God was saying to them, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, whether it's a stranger oh, yes. or a friend, family member or business colleague. God was saying to them, you are to love both friend and enemy and to pursue the good in those around you. God's grace liberates the self from the self in order for the self to love another self as itself. So <clears throat> what Exodus 20 tells us is that God has a vision for humanity, especially oh, yeah. for these Hebrew people. In the Ten Commandments, God is expressing a vision that shapes a new community. God is <clears throat> declaring they are freedom from slavery. Out of slave population, God is molding a people who are called to relationship to God and to each other. Israel's mm. life will be defined no longer by oppression and slavery, but by relationships of dignity, of mutuality, of trust and respect. The slaves are given an opportunity to start something brand new for mm. themselves. That's what is happening here which says God invested this new community with a purpose. They were to be mm. a people who, through their relationships, would bear the image of God's great love for the world. The Israelites would be a people to show the world the way to know and to relate to God. Through the establishing work of God, the Israelites received a new vocation. And what we learn from this scripture and in the story then, they were going to begin a new community, which says years of slavery and heavy yoke were over. God was oh, yeah. saying, you are free at last. You must love, you must laugh, you must sing, you must mm. live. Freedom mm. for them was declared on this day. God saying, free at last. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Mfundisi, um, for that introduction. Um, over to you, Sister Nunzugiso. Exodus 20, verse seven you shall not misuse the name of the lord your god for the lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name kule bible yami esixhosa uzongafumana ulibize igama lika yehova uthixo wakho kuba uyehova akayi kumenza omsulwa ofumane alibize igama lakhe when when you read this um and Iotula into two parts. The second half, yes, stanza is not a command. It is a warning. Utiko, I nika banda ba fuma ne bali busy kamalake. Uti abazubam sulwa go fuma ne bali busy ikamalake. So it means guilt and punishment will hang over their heads. For misusing the kama the What is it? What indone koyo e kameni? Kubanda wa kulele makose ni abandu abano mazala uzamvuma koti kwa 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 za ubizi kama lika ba uzala elishoni pa kubwa ukwa kutenunga ubizi ati lika ba uzala liashoni pa sikula kunjalo the set names that are not mentioned. Kodwa uyazu kuba eli ali kama lo mtu. Utike umpani kwa hmm. ikatu isi kama likatiko. Lilikaza li, li, ubunyulu bake his holiness. Ikama likatiko hmm. ya uva na kumtanda zo wetu kakala. Kuba wetu osema zuluini. Uti oh. uze silipate ngobu nwele oh. ikama lake. Utike hmm. utika pa singa kumani silibize ikama lake. The commandment yes, to to let that in the feeling of ba yeyona abandu ba transgressor kakulu le commandment. Mm. Balibizi kama likatiko no bumbu 
Say I enge yi Christian or Tina's Christians. Sin seven zasel mi fuza ika malika tiko. Peta sola dala de ika malika tiko utum bali iki i high priest. Only mentioned, okay, only called Ikamalga Chico when he, he went to the Holy of Holies. A young sacrifice. He only invoked the, the name of the Lord. And Tandas win. And a Fumana Lizava Valam Tandas. And as a Pinal Bizika Malga Chico. He is self existent. He's a self-sustaining being. So he came like a nogma. Tina as in Sony Panga, but to go back, Utico, Utico, who come back and would depend Uti, and no who come back and would depend on Kuyan Jongo Tico only. You let no Uva, who Moses, Nella Cassetuna, Uba Magao Kulula Masrael, Utins are fig and eating banina on the Tumileo, Utu Tico Ziti. I am who I am, Dinguye and Dinguye. So we can make a chico to go to again, Masina Fumana Silibiz. Um, do think I'm from the punishment? Was I Fuman and Wobbes appeal? Can the punishment your bees or can your Zalangel Gamaga Chico, Nina Fuyana, now good generations as in that too, as in the Vaguaco, or a galogi punishment, Gatico, I use the Keshatina, the expectant, I'll go to Ben Funa. See, I'm the nine and I'm trying to is to know there is power at the men in Gatik. Kobagalo Guleni Kama, but Abandu Tabe Tetangalo, every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess any Kama, Nigatik, or whatever gets it casting a family, silly bees, why a Sagosa, Sago Shwaya, or who is it a Malgatiko, it tetu Utike, Nelkosas Pilangalo, who needed a city guard, how we use. The name of the Lord. And the Ukubai Christian is not sinless, but I think to be a Christian is supposed to sin less. So me sing a fan, my Bekuma Suko, Paga Tukwe to Nabandu Uzu Tonde, Ukubai Gama, Liga Tiko Lina Manja, there is power in the name. El Gama Funekanga Sizalena, Uyam Vanum Sadalelo, Felkaza, Ati Gama Lengosi, Nio Imaba, O Pepela Gulo, Agana Gue Saba, O Tafes Gulona, Uyaya Sindiswa. There is power in the name of the Lord. Unyanze leki lugubake inda bilo kamesi zalela kulo libeli kamalga baozala ikamesi shoni payo goba amanda apuma kwela kama ubona ngezenzo zinto zenzeka yo goba zeku kwa manda kwela kamili teli toli kwa tandil sama ikamanda apuma kwela kama kwela tulo na mawisi luktulo 38 enti yesu kamali no yolo Actually, penalty, the penalty is on the TV. We know you can. The last verse and the time I go like to know. Actually, the sending bomba zengalo kumasangwe zulu. The sending bomba zengalo kumkoswe zulu. There is power in the name. I will change. Ubanja kula bizwe ni kwalo. Kwatwa uba umbil seven zisango kuna lunganga kula puti kaza mushwa ya kon. Lengo Sike, Nikamel Melba Sel Sonipa. And what we use it in vain. It means since seven is something and ineffective, as something that is lacking peoples. Can the Kamalga Chico, Nikamel Soni Twayo, Nikamelina Bizwa, Novagunjani, and Gobagalago? The mere fact that we talk about the power, and in the Tetwalund, and Dom Kulu. Utiko wetu, the existence ya kene, power ya kene, and the chill that I depend on a good. If we, re, we, tina, we misrepresent a Christian enmity intentionally, oka nge ngaye ignorance yetu, it means, fizala nge kamalgatiko. And kubele in this life, ino itetayo ututiko, masikhani pika malake, nende si zenzayo, zibe zizindo, ezi khani po ubukobu gatiko. Ukrestu ngo sietu, amen. Thank you so much, kosi kakulu. Um, Payana gegusis nonsubisego. 
uh, Brother Sisego? Eh, man, the bullet will put you. verse 8, when you see Exodus chapter 20, he remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Is a key, it's a blend of cool lawyers' cross. Kumbula, Mslaw Sabata, Uba, Umwali. Man, the bullet, oh, Kabam, a sebe katule. So Maglen of Sukuyum book. Eh, man, be pow lake, Udo eighty. Apa, the Zemba when younger, Ambrose and Datu. Since Amastraeli, a Pumile, a Yipu. Ah, Utwa is about a year. They came back, Lendao, Bafumana Guyo, the Mitchell Shub. Apa is the nine. E in Dabake, me, Gibana Namastraila, who you go to chapter twenty. So Kumbulo Goba in his window, as one as and one of those in Dabaya Sinai, as one ayo, it is where Moses spent forty days and forty nights a tetanoti. Is Gualindaba, yes, the nine Ababa Zalona, Banabo, the Shelapa, Emazanti, and Da. Oh, oh, see Dibanango, no Moses. A teta, Lamazi, Okanya Kritiza, as commandment, as the Kumene Kuchiko, his Gwenda. Eh, Moses, Usam Veni, for the forty days, I will tell you, his Gwenda. Apo asonde de la yongoku, ugu nikeza, me mi tetuli shumi, i vela kuye o kutik. O tu akapa, kuchapta, kabe, u verse 8. Si dibana na yongoku, e sit, u tutiko, kumbula, u mtlawe sabata, u kuba, u mwalise. Kya funa ke, takamkwa kukuti, imbinda mte tole, goba. Kumbula, a look of going to take any seat. It's a super system. Oh, we call it Vesi. I think yes, car. Ah, Uch Vest three while a charter. Uba, oh, sick a little chica, um, showers tank, um, Walisa. Ukuba, Wapum Langao, a Dalen Zong is in or was it Dalayo? Is in Sukuse Vake, Cordua. Wabona kukustingo, oso kukuma, kalifika kuna mtila wekai, magachatu pumlo, arre. Tiza, tiza, tiza nendoe chike, asifika kwa 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 upindi ndu chiko, abese iche chile na pambi. Himpinda mche tole, himpinda mche tole, kwa kwa that is introduced to us, himpinda and then zungu zaka kuhu. He in Zela, he is from Zagakulu. He introduced us the commandment of Uti. Zengendo, a woman see Kumbule. He meaning which he did the Kaya Bell and a Pambi, like Kalu Tetum, Chikovane, I Kalu Bell and Zengendo, a Wumtet, Nogumiale, a Bella Kuchiko. A other of Vivi Bellin, while I plan what is the Chapter <laughs> Jela, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
that we need to abstain from any form of from any form of hard labor, from any form of any kind of work that we have been to do. But I've never been because of my child's mother is that she don't know what she will have turned out. Then they go to the Abuchiko, or I am a master. I am watching for Mama Kotala in Mana, my pocket, as in Mali, or Tumjo, I got it to her. She don't be. Amen. Thank you so much, brother. And thank you so much. Let us now hand over to Brother Tabiso Mankofu. You can switch on your mic, Rudy. Yes, 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 um, commandment not only a commandment, but a commandment and a benefit. But I just want to say, if something is a benefit, it also has an harm. Young in a benefit, Ibanayonendo, a harm. Simemela loke kwinto nzima, yogushoni pa abandwa badala kwikeselidi. Sipila kwilizwe elibede sa ubu ucha kuno budala. Kwilizwe eluba dubayo abandu abadala. Libabulale abandu abadala. Sipila kwikesa abandu abadala ezilalini be tatelwa imali. Be kwe kwe tiswa, be bulawa, be cholwa ngezwe zimbi. Kodwa utimbali be kuishono nyongo. Ukuze yonu li mishe yako nishabini. Indo yokunga shoni li abantu. Ailo siki zinte. Kodwa ikuwa ngumkondi so. Yoku pela kweli izwe. Kobasi mwa utimoti uesibini. Isashuko se statu ne statu. Esiti kukake mshope ukuba. Imisha yoku kibela. Ia kubanga makesa nzima. Efana na lezi kuo. Abantu baya kubatanda bezi kuza hapo. Batande imali bezi kwa kwisa. Bengo zwila hapo. Baya kunyelisa banga tobeli abazali. Baya kubangine nyuangu. Baba zinjo bongela. Baitie indo elungi leyo. So usipila kukeswe linjalo. Sifumana ke nomialelo uesano. 
ayondo ibali legle yo indoba uwezitani kodwa ubali legle le pose sinyal. But if you are, you are born, or can you, if you notice in the Goba, Imi, let me ne, let me tell you, me ne inga pami kwa yo. Iko bisa na nobu jeloana be tu no tiko. Ukuze le mi tanda tu eh engwe engwe ileli de san. Ziko bisa na nobu jeloana be tu na banya bantu. If you are kumbula, u umate yu uyasi. Bali seli ndokwa wake watu yesu e kota na bafarasi. Kwa bako umkondi si mteto e mbuze siti nkosi ngo upi umteto omkulu kwe mnye. Wajika ipendula kwe wati umteto omkulu ngro uti uize uitandi nko sutiko wako ngenfizyo ya kipela. Nangu mpefu mlo wako pela. Nangu ngundo ya kipela. Watu nguo lo wa ukala, oku mkulu. Owe sibi nike ufana na au, uze umtande umelo na wako, nguo kuzitanda na wako. So, i communicator indo, eskolo ni kimji, ndake nda fundi indo kwa, apa kumetu kukwa indo ya kutuwa iparabola, which is a U-shaped curve, which is mirror symmetrical. Any point, have an equal distance from a fixed point and from a fixed straight line. Ubu ya kapela, the cross, okanyu mamlezo, it has a vertical and a horizontal line. I communicator in Doi Eti, you cannot be right with others until you are right with God. The sequence of this thing, it is important. Indoba, u address welo ndo bu first four commandment. That you must have a right, you must be right with God in order to have a right to be, to be right with others. You cannot be right with God and not be right with others. We are serving a God who is self-sufficient but not selfish. He cannot be okay. We are right in We are right Hey, we are talking on postily, Uchon, with this, with Okala, with this first 2021. Uba umtu ati, the Amtan Buchi, or Wam Tim Zalanuake, Uli Koki. Uba, Law Umtan, yo, Um Zalanuake, Ambonileo, Anga, Tinin Umtan Buchi, or Anga Bonang. Ating Walla Um Tetras now, Uvela Kuye. Ukuba ati lawo umtanda yitiko. Amtande, non zalwane wake. Ite tukuti londo, if ukolo lwako is not mirror symmetrical, is false worshiping. Umulo, olunga balansi liyo, otandu tiko, ube unga watanda bazalo mbake, okanya bazali pako, lunga mampunge, it is a false worshiping. E worshipini, kandi siti, lomteto, isubon sindokwa, a Christian life is a parabola. You must honor God, you must honor your parents. Kukwikwi parabola, kukundu wakutu eti, a, 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 to a turning point. A turning point is a time at which a decisive, a significant, or a critical change in a situation occurs, as a pressure, especially one with beneficial results. It gives you a promise, a decisive, a significant, or a critical change as a quenze kakuwe, which is a beneficiary. Utike ka nomteto, beku iso no nyoko, ukuze volumi mishe yako, ame sabeni akunike kon. It and I V, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the Lord, the Lord who gave his. Apa ni fumisu haile chelenda wuti so that itetu kuti apebu omini bako ukuze kubeko in kubeleka uwe in order that, in order to, in order for ukuze ibeko na 
honor your father and your mother. It is NLT. Honor your father and mother. Then you will be a long, long and full life in the land. Then you will live immediately after we have bad that. There is a something that is beneficiary. Honor your father and mother. Next, in order of time, as a necessary consequences. Live a long, a full time. The funukuti, in order to live a long, a full time, a full life, is to school. Um, proverb every man is the architect of his own fortune. He alter call as if you a right relationship with your parents. Who he promises ne break through as in a thing, he fasting as if you know, link is a good and a back of numbers on the back of economy. Even young when that's it, one a quad young, okay, was in now as the sub says to fill out it's equal to see towards your parents. Namanyama kasa auti kwanga zizi kito okanye na maswa uti kwa ite chuti yako. Abana namba kwa sireli ke babe fundi sindi okwa yokwa baba abani sabandu bakabise abanda badala because then that would be honor i i i sonde like we 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 wait at a wait okanye kabiso. Oh, okwa sbini because when te into it as a benefit, it also has a harm. This honoring parents has a serious consequence, a terrible one. Ute se ube kiwelo dom teto westano kwa boni do pa kwa nelanga kwa beko wenzwa isi shomelo okanye isi trinini so okanye mpende mpinda mteto apu Exodus twenty one fifteen simva. Ukwe sashuko, oka nisi shuko e siti, imi tetongo, unjo ongela. Efana na lendo si pili sa webenzi, hai lete kwa mbili. Iti u 15, u verse 15, u kale kisiwe na bani na otelu ise, no bangu nina. Oko sibi inu 15 ati, umjo shaselu ise, no kubangu nina, makabula. Umjo tuku ise, no kubangu nina, makabula. I pin that to level to 20 verse 9. Umtu, umtu katewa, tapi suise no nina, wabuli wa afe, a tapi se wise, ama gazake, magapike, pezu kwakwe. Iti lendo mistreating parents, abusing them physically or verbally, lisik easy, and umtu yenzayo has no place in the world. Umtu opata kabi abazali akananda au mshabeni. Tifuna ke kanzo kubeze la di yenza ke ni highlight ya amashwa okanye iham yokuunga si yokuunga chobe yokuunga yomi mistreating abanda ba dala. Um ya itanda ke inua tia proverbs isa forbe. Um si afumanza indoba okokala ku verse ku proverbs twenty verse twenty ku kwa nini ati ku verse twenty umka oti. Umdo tuku ise no nina, ubo mi bake bu suba buti pam, jenge siba anesime gus togo togo, sobu miyama. Ukwa ni nduwe tinge slungu, sky is the limit. Koda uku nga shoni li pi utiko, unga shoni pi abazali is the limit. Ukwa nukuti, umbo numduwa unai potential, unai capability, uneka mveli she, kodu utu sambukele, isima, oka nisiba anesake, siti swaka, si kime nge ngayo ndoba, enga shobo nivi abandu bake. Ikuduwa, uduwa, ubo mi bake, usuga buti pam, jengi spane, esprim. Ogo sbini, simva, imiza gili so tri, verse 22, ya siti umtu anawam, mpula pule uishe, o wako zalai, unga mdelu no nyoko, e kwa lupale pele ni kwa hake. Siboni zindoa apa, indoba abandaba dala, o makulu, 
Abe fike la gui age yo baba dala. Be mystery to a abantu. Bate ba fike gui point yo baba mscoop yo. Ba ba yo zina yo ofona yi home. Iti ke londo. And funu yi highlighter in doba. How we treat them today will have to determine how we are treated tomorrow. Because then was yi chala na mklanze. Yi ndo za yi funa ngom. So, wakwa start unali. Elo kubela. Elo yi kisayo. Yi paku Proverbs 30 verse 17. Ama so omto potrisa ngoise no tokisa no teki su tobelunina. We ya ku kolwa ngama shungu ngama kanga. We are in living in a in a world of, of vulnerable to destruction varsity high school stiboni la bandwana the 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 tekisa in me imitate to yabazali wake, but open them vulnerable with vultures and ravens. Zelilizwe, ngobe lilizwe, lilizwe lama kalanga, lama shungu. Nazike i benefits. Kanza utika. Ukushoni pa, okanyushonela, okanyubeka, abazali bako. It is a benefit, it is a benefit of long live on it. Udu Ephesians 6 verse 2 to 3, beku ishono nyoko, Long miyale lo wukala honest terms to a city. Uya kuba na matamsana. Ne misa yolulwe emsabeni. Things will go well for you. And you will have a long life on earth. Ukuze ulule lwe. Uongoze lelwe. Ule misa inikweyo. Ekwasini. It unlocks blessings. Calls to respecting them, treating them with kindness. It is never right to despise or ridicule your parents, even if they have done something deserving of such treatment. Genesis 9, verse 20 to 21. Wasali wain, wanila, was super packet twenty and eight. Uam, we secana, who's a black gum, and nickel the title. Wabu born was the book I say, Wakalla Bakura Baka Bubadin in the pan. Coming on a Christmas out to be blemisha, what I'm born is sick is like when the live video. Usham Abazalana Bazalana Baka no ya fatty, but Tabatingu. By Becca Macrin, Abu Padini, by a gomfa Babu Wunga Lubu Sebuka is Wafukuno, a wine waka, a quasa quince the Wunyanaka, what a macacala kiswe, uam, Abbess Stark. So it is a terrible thing when a man curses his own child. It is a terrible thing. It is African proverb at all. In the Gokuba, Zikona Maswa. Oh, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Kamanya matlasa bazali abafuni mali yetu bafuni tlesa land. Kamanya matlasa abazali betu abafuni mali yetu ka insebenzo yen bafuna nje indoko kuba tina siba katale. So then the second kala you cannot be right uh, with God and not and not be right with others. The funuguti to be right with others you must start with a relationship with your father and mother. Because if you cannot respect your father and mother, you will have a difficult time respecting a stranger. I saw the umpagati ulunge kakunga lunganga ulunge ekai. Kakubole mva ekaya uzagubole kawe. Kakubole kawe uzagubole society. Kakubole society uzagubole sizwe longe. If a nation is a group of children who do not respect their parents, they will not respect others. And in Pumela Yalondo, Ugukwanda, Bobunzo Bongela, in Christ, increase in crime. 
Because when they are full of you don't have to be rich to honor Bazal Baku. You honor your parents by living an honorable life. In Zela, always pretend that we are was you buy into or Shoni Panga or Abandu. Yafunu Kucho Kucho was being guns of Pella. Indo Yakushonela Abandu, Abazali Baku. It is something that cannot be postponed because it has a knock effect because it's sicker when and and hinder your progress. Indo Yakwenza. Cannot be postponed for tomorrow because it unlocks some blessings. I understand in the over of dysfunctional families. Sipila good case of Uba Abandu Bazala out of weight, after out of Umta and Chad. Apo who parenting is challenging. God. Yafunu kuti nakuba zali bonge, bani ke abantu ana ikabiso okanye ibenefit okanye bani allow them ukuba ba have a relationship with their parents in both father and mother. Uti kwan sigelele. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much to Brother Tabiso Mampofu. Um, we will now be checking to Brother Luandile Mgedeezi. I'm not sure about Jola, so Jola. Yes, Dada. Over to you, Dad. Eh, Mandi, Mandi, Bulele, Kwe, Poti, Di, Bulese, Kwe, Wongkumtu, who is able to hear my voice at this time. Um, let me apologize for joining late. Um again, the Nigwepa Kula the Exodus chapter twenty verse three, which I think verse three Usugala Pagu verse two. And verse three becomes a conclusion of what verse two is saying, where God says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery, you shall have no other gods before me. Um, I, I want to believe who Fundusus Kupela gave us a great introduction to where we land in this verse. I think also I must have a brief introduction how did we land? today, where God is establishing his authority over the people of Israel. And perhaps a starting point and Khaleluk figure is a point where we want to understand in Togogbana. What does God mean when say you shall have no other God before me? Or a question that we must be asking ourselves is, what then is a God? And I want to understand it in the context that a God is anything that one worships and reveres. It's anything or everything that one depends on and strongly feels that their dependency or their livelihood is dependent on that which they believe in. And therefore, Utiko is putting that to the people of Israel that he wants them to rely on him totally and there should not be a competition between him and any other thing that might that the people of Israel might want to worship perhaps one angas buzintoba but what informs that utiko at a later stage when he had traveled with the people of Israel how did he get to a point where, at a later stage, he then introduces this authority? Um, if, if we might take a few steps back 
sikangele the journey that the people of Israel had with God out of Egypt to where we are today. The story goes as Utiko instructed Moses to go to the people of Israel or to go to Egypt and, and proclaim the freedom and liberation of the people of Israel from the rough and, and heavy hand of Pharaoh in Egypt. And Moses adheres to that and goes to Egypt as, <clears throat> as per the instruction by God. And here is a sequence of events I would want us to follow, leading to where we are today, where God is saying to the people, but you need to understand that I am the Lord your God. The people of Israel received the news of their liberation and their freedom, as Umfunso Skupela has already alluded, that Today, I am here to announce your freedom and liberation. And the people of Israel were excited. They were happy to finally understand that they will be free from the bondage and, and the hard hand of Pharaoh in Egypt. And the excitement and joy they had is unmatched. In Doba, finally, after so many years of slavery, Finally, our freedom we receive. And when we were receiving our liberation in South Africa. Now we move. Then the journey begins from Egypt, a land where they knew. But Moses comes with an open-ended promise that says, we are going somewhere. I also do not know where we are going, but we are walking on the word of God, that God has promised us a land, a beautiful land, a land where there's honey and where there's milk. Therefore, the people of Israel listened to that word and took the word of God for it as true. Then they started a journey unknown to a promised land. And all they have in their minds and in their hearts is that God has spoken through Moses and God is a God who's going to keep his promise. And therefore they enter into an unknown journey to an unknown land, but relying on the word of God. We move forward. Then the journey begins. And in the journey, they begin to experience things they did not anticipate because Mapume, because there was a word that Moses said is from a God who has promised to be their God. But Kuenzega on the way, as they were about to cross the Red Sea and Ufaro Usem Vagwabo with his army, then Uluanje Luvalile, and they don't know their way out and they fear that something might begin to happen to them or they might get killed in this wilderness or in this area where they don't have anywhere to go because before them is the sea and behind them is the army of Pharaoh ready to kill them and, and leave them to be devoured by vultures. Now they are the, the confliction, they, they get conflicted. If you if you remember and you recall well, they say to Pharaoh, to, to, to Moses, wouldn't it have been better for us to die in Egypt? And at least there would have some distance where we would have Amanwaba than to die here and be devoured by uh, vultures in, in, in this space. Now, the attitude towards God changes and their reliance on God, it's wavering over. They are experiencing something they did not anticipate that it might happen 
Also, when God provides for them in that they move forward, and again their attitude changes towards God. They have seen God doing something great and wonderful, something never seen before, where God opens a sea and people get to cross on a dry land. In the area. Now they, they are trusting God is revived. But again comes another scenario where these people experience in yoga and track. And in that process, again they are trusting God. Yes. And God then but they, they they try to improvise for the situation. Apobati Masikululeni Zinto Sizame Ukwenza Itabo Logogbana Sikwazu Pila Ngoba Sizau Fela Glendao. And God and God comes through for them again and says to Moses, Moses, Ababandu, before they start deserting me, please, Yenzika Bolendoba, umisinyo gayopedu, so that whoever has been bitten by the snakes in the wilderness, when they look upon the bronze snake, they shall be saved. And God again comes through for them and they continue in the journey. We know the story where even again they meet Amanda Samara and Amanda Samara were bitter. And when they wanted to drink and they're thirsty and they're quenched and they could not do anything. And when they saw water, they had hope that Amanda Samara is going to be drinkable water. Little did they know that the water they saw was a bitter water. And when they wanted to drink that water, it, it could not, uh, they could not swallow it. It was unbearable. The taste was just awful. So they could not take the water. And again, it gives them a different perspective about this God. Now we are dealing with a people that went through those things. I'm not going to go through all the story because we know now my argument here is to say that sometimes we get into a journey with God and and sometimes the circumstances change along the way and sometimes how when those circumstances affect us it affects the they affect the way we see God like the people of Israel did when they had to encounter all these problems in the journey. And I want to remind each and every one of us here listening to me today that let us at all times remember that we are in a journey, a journey unknown, a journey, your life is a journey that no one before has ever traveled. It is a journey that you need to take and it is a journey that you need to walk with all its challenges. and. God then gets into this point where he sees that these people have forgotten who he is. The situations about the situations about and thus it reminds them that lest you forget people of Israel that I am the Lord your God who took you out of Egypt and, and it pulled you through the journey to a land unknown. And remember there was the point where and these people said but Londo is not coming back. How about we start uh, every gold item we have. Then it and that is the mentality of Egypt in the land where they are coming from. They are used to worshiping gods that are seen and gods that are touched. And this phenomenon that Moses introduces to them doesn't make sense to them. And thus they say, we need something that we know. We need something that we are familiar with. Ngoba, Lomundwebengatus introduced her to the something that is new to us, seems to have disappeared in this mountain. Let us start, and God immediately reprimands that now, God is, is then establishing a protocol and, and the principle, if you, if you understand very well, you'd know that Umtado is put in any place to establish law. 
to establish order. It is to ensure that people live in order and in harmony. Now, the intention of these commandments that God gives to the people of Israel is to make sure that one people of Israel live in peace with him as God. And the second intention is so that the people of Israel live in peace amongst each other. The third intention I want to put forward is God wants to ensure that he establishes social justice and social cohesion amongst the people of Israel. And that is the establishment. That is how we landed in, in a position where we have the Ten Commandments. Ngoba utiko unenjongo yoguti abantu baake that he has taken out of a position of discomfort and slavery. And when he delivers them to a land of comfort, a land of milk, a land of abundance, a land of honey, Abandu, they then do not grow greed where people want to take all for themselves. But God wants people to understand that whatever he has given them, it ought to be shared equally amongst the people. Therefore, it corruption again. And therefore establishes law that says you need to understand that I am the God. And once you understand that, your respect for me and your respect for the other is going to make you be disciplined. And I want to say for us to have even a better understanding of the Ten Commandments, we need to read the Exodus 20 inter alia with Matthew chapter 5, where God speaks of the be attitudes, and teaches people of the be attitudes then we are going to be able to understand because it would be wrong of us to say we write off the Ten Commands, Commandments because we live in a new dispensation of the New Testament. These laws are meant to guide and if we understand that we have no other God but Uchiko who has managed to deliver us. Yes, in our context, Sisai Fumene, liberation and therefore we need to still trust our God that ultimately we will get to other liberations that we need the economic liberation and all other liberations that we need and the emancipation and the liberation of the mind where we are able to think outside the 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 the, the, the parameters of what we have been taught and in on therefore Londo that, but in everything that we do, we ought to remember at all times, at all situations, at all circumstances, that he remains a God that is not changing. And whatever situation and circumstance we come across, it ought not to change how we see God. No, but there is no situation in our lives that changes the Godness of God. That's, that is why Utigo Establisher, let me tell you, so that there's a clear understanding and there's a clear guideline and there's a clear line of march of how people of Israel ought to behave amongst each other and between them and him as God. Therefore, Utiku Nigeza Limited to Etige, Kuyo Yong in Dwenienzayo, never forget that I am the Lord your God <clears throat> who took you out of Egypt and you are in this land that we are in now because I have taken a self from me and and made sure that you receive your liberation. And therefore we are called to do that, to, to nurture the liberation we have. And we continue to strive for better life. We continue to strive for a better living for all people. We continue to strive for a social justice and a social cohesion where people who live in the land benefit from the produce of the land where everyone doesn't live in poverty and hunger, but lives in abundance, for there is a God who provides for his people. Amen.
Ngosika Kulu, um, that was U Brother Lwandi Lem Gedezi, um, the last speaker for the day. Um, in any minute from now, I will be experiencing load sharing, but fortunately, we are done for today. Just to remind people that we were having our 10 commandments series. This was part one. And next week we are coming again with part two. There will be other guests. Um, just uh, make sure that you follow the page, Portugal's Food for the Soul, so that you can know what it was so that we may live. Kim, Kulona gugustina no guslondo loza singa bina gukubeka. Loo no gusmisa pamgo pso bake singa na kapaza. Kutiko mnyolum gile yogye magbe guzdu kwa nembego. Zalutu baba lo lengo sietu yesu krestu tano luga tiku bawo. Ujelan mwomo ingwele mkale kutisonke gogu jebengu na pagade. Amen. Amen. And our guest today, Ebezi Bambege Limited to Lishumi. Masitibani Kwakon, the Gufi Gelandelai. Gossip Kakon. Double it.